Well, uh, YouTube, this is probably one of the first videos of me attempting my hand at working with, or actually interfacing new uh, hardware on vintage computers. Um, I follow a lot of guys on YouTube, watch a lot of videos. Um, these guys, um, I think the 8-bit guy, um, worked on trying to get one of these GoTech floppy emulators working on, I think it was an old Tandy. So, um, this one I ordered off of eBay, and you guys are going to just have to forgive the quality of this video, I'm using my iPhone to shoot this. I don't have fancy cameras or microphones, so I'm going to do my best to talk clearly so you guys can, uh, can understand me. But, basically I picked this, uh, GoTech, uh, floppy emulator up off of, uh, eBay. Uh, it was just after Thanksgiving, had to get shipped all the way from China. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got it in a couple weeks ago, and, uh, it's been just kind of sitting on the shelf while I was waiting to compile parts and adapters, etc., to make this thing work. As you can see, it's installed, um, using a three and a half inch drive to five and a quarter inch uh, drive bay adapter. Uh, the texture matches the face plate of the GoTech well enough. Um, the drive sits, eh, I mean there's a little gap between the front bezel and the, uh, the GoTech, but not really a huge deal. Um, got it all mounted in here, got my ribbon cable uh, plugged in. I borrowed this from, I don't know, some PC that I ripped apart and I had this cable laying around. Um, anyway, got it plugged in and, and um, there's some jumper settings on the PC Junior and you guys are not going to be able to see those well enough. Um, let me find, I had a flashlight. I did. Oh well. Um, Inside of there are some jumper settings. This is uh, on S0 for drive one. There was one bridging the J, C, and J, A connectors. I pulled that off. Um, as you can see, pin one is um, would be toward the left side of this header as you're looking at the, the GoTech from the back. And then I just I popped in a, an adapter uh, for power. Now these GoTechs, don't come with these headers. Now, if you uh, if you purchase one of these to try to use in your vintage computer, you're going to need to uh, flash uh, flash it with the HXE 2000 uh, 2001 firmware. I'll put links to this in the description so you guys can can find out where to where to uh, locate uh, the, the software and the instructions to do it. Um, but basically, I, I bought this and bought the pin headers and soldered them in. I didn't want to do a botch job because I thought you know. Um, I, I want to make sure I've got a good solid connection and if I have to mess with it again, uh, I don't, I'd rather not tear up, uh, traces and solder pads. So with this in place, um, it wouldn't work initially. Um, but once I got the jumper settings correct, uh, I powered it up and, um, the PC Junior uh, acted like it was trying to seek, uh, or, or read data. Uh, from the GoTech, there was no USB drive plugged in, so there's nothing to read from. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and power it up. Uh, what I've got on this this uh, uh, config file for the HXC uh, or GoTech is in index mode, so you have to actually like name your disk images um, DSKA 0000 and uh, etc. And then um, you can select the disk by number. So I'll, I'll kind of show you how that works. Um, we'll go ahead and power it on here. And so right now disk zero is selected. The IBM's booting up here. And now you can see that the LED is uh, illuminated. It's, it's accessing the data and reading it. It wants me to enter the date. So, let's see if I can do this one-handed with this ridiculous wireless keyboard. So, today is December 10th, 2018. 
And it is 7.39 in the evening. And we'll go ahead and do a command and let it load. And there it is. So all of this is loading from a uh, IBM DOS 2.1 disk image uh, that I uh, pulled onto this USB drive. Now there's um, a tool that you can download from the HXC 2001 website. Um, that allows you to convert um, disk images to the uh, what format is it? There's a, a specific format to this that you can convert these to uh, HFE. That's uh, .HFE format. Um, so you can convert the the disk images to that format um, and then drag the config file uh, to the root of the USB drive and your disk images. Uh, to the root of the USB drive, and um, um, based on, on what number you've, you've got um, um, associated with your disk image, um, it'll be indexed as such, and you can use your front panel here to select disk one. So, uh, anyway, I, uh, I just wanted to show this working on an IBM PC Junior. Um, this thing was given to me several months ago. And I picked up a, a junior IDE for this uh, from the Brutman forums and haven't been able to get it to work quite yet. I haven't found a, a, a discount module or compact flash adapter that's, that's compatible. They have a few listed as such on the site. But uh, anyway, um, this was by far much easier to set up and, and get going. So, um, yeah, if any of you have a PC Junior and are looking for a... a floppy emulator, uh, the GoTech with the HXC firmware is uh, certainly a good way to go. Um, uh, proof of concept here is that it does work. Uh, I think these uh, are mostly used by Amiga enthusiasts. Looks like a lot of support for those, but um, um, for those of you uh, IBM PC enthusiasts, uh, here you go.